Hello, one and all, this is Warmer Tacos, and welcome back to Let's Play Hex and Beyond Heretic. When we last left off, we just had to pick a hole and dive! And we're going down here. And that seemed relatively beneficial. And that's a way out. Huh. That improved our AC by a lot. Thanks. Well, that one was nice. Let's try another. Portal. Which is probably plot significant, so let's ignore that for now. Hello. Very clever game. Very clever. Oh! I thought that might have been the enemy. It was not! Tis a serpent staff. I have no idea whether or not we will be able to evade that hole. I am guessing no. But we will eventually give it another shot as soon as I manage to navigate myself there. Bounce. Stupid gaps. Okay, this room is a problem. I didn't expect a serpent man. No, I should have. Get out of the water. I'm going to die. I might just let them kill me, honestly. Yeah, I did not perform as well in that room as I could have. So, let's try that again. Let us fire the Wraith Fane into the room and have it kill most of the threats instead of scurrying around and trying to deal with them. Now let's get the mace because fish guys are a problem. There are some quartz flasks and we know there's blue flasks in the other room. Again, this really is just the, the, the most effective way to make them come out. I know there is at least one more of you. They don't like my fist to fist man fighting. Ooh, a portal. And that lowers, which is good. We shall ride it. Oh. Not where I was hoping it would take me. Did I hear another serpent monster? I did. Well, we can take the portal, figure out where it goes. Might have to do that. Woo! A door open in the gibbet. Hello? Yeah, great. Get up. I wasn't expecting necessarily expecting good thing, but I wasn't expecting wizards. Why am I macing a bunch of wizards to death? Boots of speed. Player now has the boots of mercury. Not the first time I've made that joke, won't be the last. If the game gives me boots of speed, I'm going to make that joke. And matter. Right. I'd rather go back, to be honest with you. Doors open to give it. Not sure what the gibbet is, but 
And then you hear there was one more portal. And let's get all that healing. Hello, you down there. Portal. Woo. Oh. Back outside, eh? Some healing, some mana that I really should not have picked up. Let's get the Wraith Vein out because situations like these are not actually going to prove that difficult. Usually those kinds of things are quite deadly. Okay, so what is a gibbet? Wow. That was the best possible place you could have walked into. Congratulations. You absolutely cornered me. If that ain't cheese, I don't know what it is. Well, this place has lots of healing. That thing didn't open, so that's not a gibbet. I don't know... I swear I just heard a weird voice. Hello? Is this supposed to be the gibbet? Ugh. Watch that AC just go down. One punch at a time. I'm guessing this is not the gibbet. And we don't have the axe key, so that's not a possibility. I'm glad there was a little cliff there. I don't think this is a gibbet. I think it'll say it aloud again. We look here. Uh, oh yeah, up there. The door opened in the gibbet. Gibbet. I still don't know which way it is said because I don't know either one of those words. Gibbe? Gibbe? Not familiar with either one of them. Well, those have been working for us before. That's been a death trap, hasn't changed. Hmm. Over here is just still the clock. That hasn't changed. That's the way out. That leads back over there. Take a little bit of healing. I don't think there's anything for us upstairs. I'm trying to recall any place we might have seen a door that we haven't accessed. I don't think opening the map makes you stop, so I better deal with you. I'm just not a fan of the respawning monsters, personally. I still don't think it's a, don't think it's a, a, a thing of the, like a quirk of the, the game, or like a Xandronum, I'm trying to say. I don't think Xandronum's the one doing it. I just think the game does it on its own. No. Where have I seen a door that was not open? Call one. We can go look upstairs real quick. Does no harm except waste time. Tally ho! 
Ah! Stop it! You know, I did never jump down those things, come to think of it. As I should not have, apparently. As I should not have. Never went down these things either. But they're easy enough to jump back up on. There doesn't appear to be anything on them but poison flasks. Ooh! Amulet of Warning. Didn't see that the first time around. We're gonna jump down all these pits. Just to confirm that there's nothing down there. Down here is still just the poison flasks. Alright. Let's valiantly leap down this hole as well. We no. Nothing down there. Leap across. Doesn't appear to be anything new here. And that's not anything useful. So this way, we'll come across the last of these little towers. Doesn't appear to be anything new. What's that? Blue mana, don't need it. We'll check the hull. No. Just as bad as all the other ones. It was an option. It was an option I'd rather exhaust and ignore. Hello, you. Take me up. Flip. You hear a door open upstairs. So is this the cabinet? Upstairs. This would be upstairs. Hello, you. And by slaughtering that guy, I have alerted every enemy on the map, specifically by just swinging my mace. This is upstairs, but... Hello. And the axe key. Well, I don't know if that's the gibbet, but for now, let's just imagine that it is, and after this, I will be googling what a gibbet is. <laughs> I used to fancy myself decent at medieval knowledge, but don't know what a gibbet is. Hello? Ooh. No! Heck no! And this is why I've been conserving all of my mana for. The next time I would run into a room full of you. Those are eggs. I hear wizards. And all these guys just decided to go off at once. And my wraith. Oh dear! There's going to be a round of wizards after those, isn't there? Bring them on! No. Come on, game! E. What's behind you? Nothing! That bit of wall is protruding. So is that bit of wall, so it's at least consistent. And there are what I imagine are two pits I can jump down. Pick a hole and dive. I can get on top of the throne, practically, for no seeming reason. Perhaps I cannot crawl in those little spots. No, no, I can. Other than to get an icon of the Defender, what was the purpose of this room? They wouldn't... I don't imagine that could be the only thing in here. They wouldn't just make a locked room just for an icon of the Defender, would they? Ah, here we go. And that is quite bombless. 
and I'm loading because I hit the arrow key instead of the or the virus key instead of the arrow key and shot what shot a blast from that staff and that staff's mana is expensive. So both of those are bottomless. Right? Oh. So again, unless we're missing something in this room, which we had better be because there ain't no way out. Now I gotta save under 24. Actually, I think I've already managed to screw myself. <laughs> I already have locked myself in here, but we'll save under 24C anyways. I could park on the throne for a bit. I could use the icon of the defender. Well, actually, it was. Oh, no, there it is. I think it just raises my AC by a ton. Oh, no, it's the one that cloaks you. Yeah, there's gotta be more to this place than just the cloak tech. I think the key has to do with the ceiling, perhaps. All the arrows point towards the center. There's not a one that points different. That'd be the one I'd be looking for. I still hear wizards pretty upset with me. I don't think the ones in the ceiling are as much as a clue as they are simply aesthetic. Can't hit you and make you fall to your unpleasant death. Well, melting of corpse. Door doesn't open when you hit it. Door doesn't open when you use it. Uh, according to the map, these two things on the side can fall. But I don't know how to activate them. Hitting them doesn't do anything. Activating from the side doesn't do anything. There has to be a switch in this room that I am not seeing. I suspect that is what we're looking for. I don't have wings. So flying is not an option anywhere here. Checking the side of the throne here. Maybe there's a switch on the side. No, that doesn't appear to be the case. I say that I can practically get on top of it, but for what reason there is none, because that ceiling is sealed tight. Can't activate any of those. Can't activate any of those. I don't think I have any items in my inventory that will help me. I can chaos device, but why? Again, chaos device would just get me out of this room, and I'm led to believe that I have to use this room to progress forward. So I need to figure out the way that I'm actually supposed to get out of here, because that will, by its nature, point me where I need to be going. Maybe I'm just long shot, but like sit on the throne for a couple of seconds. That activates something. No. The base of the throne doesn't activate anything. We've been down both of those sides and they're just bottomless death pits. That door is shut, to shut tight. I suppose it's possible I'm bugged and stuck in here, but I don't think so. I think that's a little naive. It's a bit silly to have to do this. But, by the same token, I need a way out of here, so let me just finish. Check around one more time now. I can't seem to activate these. Firestorming it doesn't light it. That doesn't light it. Of course, smacking it doesn't do anything. 
Jumping on me doesn't do anything. Hmm. I don't know. I think we're stuck here, folks. Maybe it has something to do with these, but... I don't know what. I ran across them all. There's gotta be something I'm missing. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Well, I'll have to try to figure that out when we come back. So, when we come back, trying to figure out how to get out of this room. Thank you all for watching. This is Wamataku signing off. Take care and bye-bye.